The thing I love about this garden is it's not manicured and for children that is the best garden ever because it's just wild spaces. What else is in there? Uh, fishies. Fishies. So this is a really great example of about how kids make their own creative play. So you don't need to start with anything really fancy, a box, a couple of wooden spoons and kids create their own world. I think it's fantastic. Where are we going to go to next, Violet? that only kids can get into. So it's not for big people, it's for little people. And Violet's helping me here. Good girl, Violet. So what we're gonna do is just make a little hole in here that you can climb into and hide away <laughs> and find all sorts of things in there. What do you reckon, Violet? <laughs> gone? Where's Violet gone? The big oh. thing is you have to remember you're making that little cubby hole for children not for adults so you want it so that it's very hard for adults to actually get in there because kids see everything as much bigger than what it actually is because they're so much smaller so you can make those cubby hole spaces just about any green shrub that you have and as you could see you don't need a big space it only needs to be a small space. Does she prefer playing inside or out? Does she have an obvious preference? Or? Um, she doesn't have an obvious preference, but once she's outside, the games that she's playing are much more interesting and her behaviour is much better. So even if she's engaged inside and happy, she's not going to be as nice and pleasant to everyone as she is when she's outside. You can really tell the difference, yeah. <laughs> Violet's a, a wonderful, lucky little girl because she's got everything here at her, at her fingertips. And of course, because it's in a safe area, you can just let children do whatever they want to do. You don't have to constantly be watching what they do. And that's when the kids do their most creative play, is when there's no adults watching them. 
Violet's got eggs, she's got chickens, so she knows where eggs come from. So all the, the hay and straw out of the chicken pen goes into the, the compost heap or into the veggie garden, and then it feeds the veggies. So you've got this beautiful cycle. Now these guys obviously have a really perfect setup, but if mm. you don't have this much space and you don't have so many amazing plants and things available to you what can you learn from a garden like this to, to take into your smaller space it's really about design if you've got a small space you really have to think about the design very carefully but there you you will have room for a veggie garden you know even if it's one raised bed you will definitely have room for one climbing tree and then if you just clump two or three shrubs together that is where the kids can make their own little cubby house